Hello, boys and girls, how are we doing? Woohoo, Friday here. Okay, let's see what's going on today. I hope the time frame yesterday was of help for you. Um, but again, you know, let's not get any kind of uh, overexcited about this, right? Pinch your soap. Piano, piano. Okay, let's have what's the room. <laughs> okay back on what is happening what about to happen uh right now so under the deck we have the ten of wands oh my god and the ten of swords so if that is not telling me that the end of something beginning of something else and i don't know what that means okay so it's definitely you're tired of carrying people or of a lot of work or situation or responsibility or whatever and you are done and dusted i mean ten of swords and ten of wands it's pretty rare when they both are there at the same time. It's insane. So definitely the end of something is for the better. And the beginning of something fresh, something new, something different, something or somebody else in your life. Bing! And talking about something else and somebody else. Mm -mm. Bing! Night of Swords. So this little thing, it's moving forward moving towards you fast and furious not in the most kind of sophisticated polished way however boom in your face Ding! would it be a second person busy be aren't you okay but that is someone i guess things done sorted a bit controlling but he is or she is uh, the king of all kings and that is the emperor i mean you cannot not see that person very powerful indeed and then we have the knight of cups so do we have three mm -hmm. i mean on a friday i mean seriously okay this one can be a bit uh timid in the way they express what they feel they might not be very good at just they want to protect themselves they'll be timid they'll be scared of being hurt but that could be the same person um but with three different angles of their personality, which is an, a very interesting. We're not only like one way, we def, you know, depends on the situation. So there can be someone who exactly know what they want, they want you, but they might not be expressing it in a more direct way. They'd be shy, they've been hurt before, they don't want to be hurt again, but there's someone who pretty sure what they want and they want you. So let's go with the card. Okay, Seven of Pentacles, so no wonder in that situation you in a crossword in the sense of what do i do which one do i choose so if it's okay someone new in your life then you also maybe have a relationship going on as we speak and you're like oh my god i have somebody i know very well and then somebody new appearing in my life what do i do it can also be you know a, a situation on a job level professional and yes you have a new offer coming in and you just wonder hmm, what do i do now i don't know okay let's see what's happening yes the world so there is completion something is gonna definitely end no doubt about it i mean with, with what we had under the deck is pretty straightforward three of pentacles so someone's gonna get maybe frustrated or it's yourself because you have to make a decision and you were not expecting finding yourself in that situation it's like Oof, okay, um, but at the same time, maybe you're frustrated in your current relationship or situation. And in some ways, you know what? It's for the better because seriously, you are not really happy if you face yourself. Seriously. So yes, you're in a state of school for a very long time. Maybe you're in a relationship or this job for a long time. And now you're changing perspective. Now you see things differently. There's an open door. And now you're just like, hmm... Why not? And then the King of Cups. So yes, be careful. Um, that can be an idea of duality. So someone I might not say the whole truth. Um, so do your homework, whether it's you know professional or uh, you know sentimental, um, because someone might just want to you know have a good time with you but not commit, or maybe someone workwise want to use you in some ways but not really offer. Uh, what they say they're going to offer so do your due diligence research but you're definitely leaving something or somebody behind with the eight of cups you're leaving kind of a dark place sad a boring like oh you know what i'm saying right and king of pentacles so you're going for either someone or a position where you have financial stability where you have someone who knows how to treat people with respect 
someone that loves looking after people, someone that actually made them, made it for themselves already. So hmm, keep that in mind. So yes, when we cover the Knight of Cups, we have the Page of Swords. So that person is, doesn't doesn't know how to really express themselves, not only because they cover their heart, they don't want to be hurt, but also because they, they're a bit defensive, a bit childish, or maybe they're defending themselves just in case they get hurt first. You know, sometimes people do that. And so they can be a bit cutting with their words. Come on, right? Um, but you're going to see clearly and you're going to be protected. It's a wish granted and you're going to see clearly um, your path. You're going to know exactly where you're going, where you need to go, what you need to do and you're going to balance those emotions because there's a lot of changes you're really finishing something my god it's pretty clear um but you also you know starting something brand new brand fresh and uh, brand fresh <laughs> friday right um you see what i'm saying okay good because you had with the nine of one you had to be very courageous and resilient for a very long time and so you deserve to have finally, finally, that wish granted. You deserve it big time because you've been through enough. And yes, bam, Ace of Pentacles is definitely a new start, a new beginning. It's a gift as well. It might be a gift actually. <laughs> but it's a new beginning and you're starting something. Uh, and you're ready. You're on a starting block. You're ready to go for the race. You are like, bring it on. I'm in. And that's beautiful. And you so, so deserve it. Yes. And you're going to leave someone in the cool as a result. Well, if you had to choose, you had to choose S of Cups. Oof. And that could be love of a scent as well, you know, the new person coming in your life. I'm so excited. And if it's job, <laughs> um, then it could be, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty clear cut. I mean, you're going to know this is it. I mean, there's no messing around here. I mean, you, you're going to obviously you have a moment because you're like, oh, okay, okay. I have security here, but I'm going for something brand new. But then, no, you know, you're going to recognize that actually you're bored to death forever already. So it's time to move on. And yes, I mean, let's fix oh. <laughs> Am I excited or am I excited? Okay. Ten of Cups is happiness, is total bliss. I mean, if it's love, then you see totally a future with that person. 100% it's the one. And if it's business and bring it on, uh, this is long term, this is abundance, this is, you know, um, satisfaction of being with the right people, doing the right thing and, you know, really doing what you're supposed to be doing on this planet as well. Eee! Excited! Okay, uh, have a beautiful day. I'm going to come down and I'll see you tomorrow. Mm, ciao!